Folks, a national study shows that Americans are becoming less knowledgeable when it comes to finances. The National Financial Capability Study, commissioned by the FINRA Investor Education Foundation, found that when Americans were asked five questions on topics such as diversification and interest rates, 63% could only answer three or fewer questions correctly. Only 37% could answer four or all questions correctly. What's going on? Let's go to America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens. And Deborah, uh, I mean, I just, it, 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 it's amazing how many people don't seem to understand the role that money plays in their life. I, I use this in my speeches all the time, Deborah. If you, want, if you want to understand the power of money in America, come to D.C. There's only one federal agency that shares a lawn with the White House, the Department of Treasury. Power, money. Money, power. That by itself explains America. Yeah, it does. But, you know, Roland, it's interesting. If you look at, in 1979, 65 percent of people had a pension plan, right? Uh, uh, today, literally, only 7 percent of uh, people have only a pension plan. So really what happened is all the risk was shifted to people as it relates to saving for retirement, but no one was ever taught what to do. I mean, I ask people all the time, well, did you learn about investing in elementary school? Did you learn about investing in, in, in uh, middle school? Did you learn about investing in high school? Did you learn about investing in college? And I will tell you, nine out of ten people have had no exposure to the investment markets, but now we're asking them to make decisions about their uh, investment plans. And the bottom line, Roland, is what this study is showing is that ignorance is expensive. And the only way we're going to, and it really is why the um, gap, the wealth gap, particularly for African Americans, continues to widen. Part of that really is a lack of knowledge, and we have a tendency to pick whatever we feel our money won't be at risk at, when in fact that's the greatest risk of all.